still don't know exactly how gender affirming care for minors will change. The senator who introduced the amendment could not answer many of the questions asked on the floor today. Now we do know though that starting on October 1st, all gender affirming surgeries for anyone under 19 will be banned in Nebraska. Minors who are receiving puberty blockers or hormone therapy would be able to continue taking them. The state's chief medical officer, along with the Department of Health and Human Services, would decide the rules on puberty blockers and hormone therapy going forward. Those rules will go to a 30 day public notice before a hearing where people can testify. Then the AG's office will make sure it follows statute. From there, it goes to the governor and will go into effect five days after he signs it. Following all that, there is concern about the fallout from this new legislation. Six News' Taylor Johnson joins us live from the newsroom with that part of the story for us. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Lauren and Jacqueline. Now that LB 574 has passed, Nebraska could face several challenges from impacts on the state's economy to potential legal issues. Now, before the vote, a letter signed by more than 1,000 health care providers was read. In that letter, it states some medical professionals are already considering leaving Nebraska. They say they don't want to work in states that restrict delivery of care to their patients. Senators also argued the bill could keep business owners from wanting to establish here, and it could potentially drive new people from moving to Nebraska or even drive existing residents to leave. Another issue, a potential for the state to be sued. State senators say this could cost millions and will ultimately impact Nebraskans and their wallets. There are lawsuits ready to be filed in the event that this gets signed into law. And do you know who's going to pay for all of that? The people sitting up in the balcony. Taxpayers. There's no indication right now on if the state will experience these consequences. However, we'll be watching very closely and we'll continue to bring you updates as they develop. In the newsroom, Taylor Johnson, 6 News. And Taylor